Hello, my name is Agurk. This is episode three of Stranded Deep, a tutorial on how to survive and even thrive in Stranded Deep. In episode one, we learned how to arrive on a new island, how to collect resources, what to avoid, and how to set up a basic base with shelter, water, and a cooking facility. The three basic things you need to survive in this game. In episode two, we basically went completely the opposite way and tried to suck as badly as we could. I tried to give my player as many afflictions and injuries and illnesses as I possibly could, including sunstroke, diarrhea, dehydration, poisoning, and fall damage. I then tried to heal him and show you the way basically to heal most of those afflictions. We then depleted all the coconuts on the island because uh, I, I pretended that I didn't know what a water collector was. And then we were forced to basically paddle to a new island in order to find more water. And then we've set up base here now overnight. Also in uh, episode two, I taught you how to properly use the aloe salve, which I will use right now because it's 7.55 in the morning and I'm healthy and I want to stay that way. Just what I need. So I've now got sunblock for the whole day. And then the other thing we learned was how to use an antidote to rid yourself of poisoning. So now what I'm going to do in this episode is I'm going to try and find myself some snakes and boars on this island and we're going to try and kill them. Now when I was wandering around yesterday, there were snakes up in this area, and I can see one moving right there where the center dot of the screen is. Wow, extremely, extremely difficult to see them, and there might even be two of them up here, so this is a bit dangerous. Okay, he's making a run for it. Where's he going? Where are you off to, buddy? Uh, oh. Ooh. And they usually get upset when you throw a spear at them, so they'll come after you. I just hope I don't back into another one. At least the spear makes it easier for you to see where he is, because he can't... <laughs> he's like he's got a little flag sticking up. Here I am. Come on. There we go. All right, so two hits of a, of a crude spear and a snake is now dead. If you hold down your right mouse button, you can ragdoll him over to where you need him. You can't put him in your inventory, so you have to carry him that way. All right, so we have one more snake to rid us of. Yep, and look at that. There he is right over there. Hard to see him in the middle of the screen, but there you go. And he's going to crawl away. Looks like he's going for the high ground. Oh, where did he go? Ah, that doesn't look good. Shit! You little bastard. <laughs> Alright, so we have been poisoned yet again. You dirty rat. Ah, I hate snakes. They have such good camouflage, and they're such tricky little devils, and they can get you from range. They, you don't have to be right on top of them before they can get you. And now we have poisoning yet again. Ah, ah you're going to make my life miserable again, are you? All right. In the last episode, I got myself poisoned, but I was already very, very, very low health at the time. Whereas this time, I basically have full health. So it's maybe a good thing that I've been poisoned again, just so we can see the difference. Because when you're poisoned, I believe what, what it does is that it doesn't allow your health to increase. So because last time I think I had three bars of health when I was poisoned. And I'm just going to run around looking for boars while I talk about this. Um, yeah, so I think I only had three bars of health at the time that I was poisoned in the last episode. And that's a problem because 
as soon as you get below 100% food and water, your health will start to drop. So what happened, I believe, is that my health just kept slowly dropping because I couldn't keep myself fully hydrated because I didn't have a water still. I was trying to rely on using coconuts. And that's just a challenge in itself. So I think what I'm going to try and do is see today if doing this while I have full health and being poisoned will make a difference. And I'm hoping, if, it's, if that's the case, then we shouldn't fall down in as... We shouldn't drop health quite as much. Kura fruit... Uh, yep. Uh, As I mentioned in episode two, yucca plants, there should be three of them on every island. I've already harvested one, I believe, right over there, plus that one, so that's two. So there should, oh, I've harvested that one too. So I've harvested all three of the yucca plants on this island. Oh, and we have some potatoes. Excellent. Now, potatoes are used, you can use them as food, but their main purpose in the game is for fuel. And you need a fuel still to do that. All right, I'm just running in circles here, so... Oh, and more potatoes. Wow, two potatoes. This has been a great island. Two potatoes, three pippy plants, two kura plants. Now, I haven't seen a kawawa tree. It looks kind of like a kura tree, like that one over there, but just a lot smaller. Now, it's it's hard to see them in amongst all the... What? Pota How many potatoes do we have? Three potatoes! Holy cow! This island is amazing. I don't think I have ever seen an island with three potatoes or three pippy plants. And this has both. This is crazy. All right. Uh, all right. I don't know. I don't see the boars anywhere. Sometimes boars will spawn on the island and then they get glitched out in the water somewhere. So maybe what I'll do is I'll check out a couple of these wrecks that are close to shore. And maybe we'll bump into a boar while we're at it. So, shipwrecks usually have a crate on them, and there's a wooden crate. I'm just going to grab that. And in consoles, you can also take stuff, but I have full inventory. So, I'm just going to see what I have in this crate. Let's see what we got. Planks and a fuel vehicle part. All right. So, I'm going to put the uh, potatoes in there and go back and get the other plank. Now I'm searching out in the water because sometimes the pigs will glitch out out here in the water. You find them just wandering around underwater like <laughs> aqua pigs. One thing you do have to be careful of when swimming like this though is, well obviously sharks, but another thing that you can run into is a sea urchin. And they're quite, it's like a prickly ball that sticks out of, of the uh, plant life underwater. And that, again, will poison you. Oh, and there was a poisonous sea snake. You can see the sea snake there in the center of the screen. So that's another thing that's poisonous that will make your life miserable. Now, one thing, you know, I'm already poisoned, so I don't think I can get poisoned again on top of this. I don't believe you can get poisoned on top of it if you're already poisoned, so... That might be something I'll check out here in a minute. If I see a purple starfish, I'll uh, give it a try and see if I... Oh, look, there's one now. All right, so... One bar of health. We're down one bar of health, and we're poisoned. Wow, look at that. So I can jump up and down on this thing and lie on it and swim on it and everything, and I'm not getting further poisoned. Fantastic. Good to know. If you're poisoned, you cannot get poisoned on top of an already poisonous situation. Fantastic. Alright, so we're going to swim around a bit more. Come on, piggies, where are you? Yeah, I know, I shouldn't be looking underwater for pigs, but yeah, sometimes it happens. Let's see if we can find it. Nope, no crate on this one. Alright, I'm gonna drop off some of my stuff. I've got too many uh, 
planks and things here. What the heck did I do with my crate? Uh, did I leave it on the beach over there? I must have. Alright. <laughs> well, that was not too smart. Alright, so we have full health. And our health bar has gone down one from being bitten by the snake, but it hasn't really budged since then. So as long as we can maintain full food and full water in our health bar, we should be okay. All right, so we have a shipwreck right out there. That might be a nice one to go... Oh! <laughs> and there! Look at... What did I tell you? We got an underground pig. Or underwater pig. Woohoo! All right, let's chase him back up onto, up onto land. Get back up onto land, you silly bugger. He's totally glitching out. He's like, where are you? What the hell? Where'd he go? Oh, he's gone back up that way. Oh, they're both over here. Oh my god. Would you guys go back up on land? Well, that might make him easy to kill. Look at him. He looks like a unicorn. Holy shit. What the hell happened there? Alright, so we're gonna right click on him, drag him up to shore. All right, this is not normally how you would kill yourself a pig because they don't normally uh, just disappear into the water like that. It can happen, obviously, uh, as you can see. Both of them were out in the water. But, all right, let's see if we can get the other guy. Where are you, Mr. Pig? Oh, there he is. <laughs> It takes four hits of a crude spear, but once you have leather, you can kill them with just two hits of a fine spear. Alright, so I have managed to kill both snakes and both of the boars on the island. Did I not take him with me? Oh, oh yeah, he's still here. Come on. Here, Mr. Piggy. All right, so we've killed both snakes and both boars. So that's pretty good. And we still have full health. And we're still poisoned, all right. All right, let's check out this wreck. As long as a shark doesn't show up. Now this shark is a reef shark. It's a skinny shark and it's harmless, much like the stingray. It won't do anything to you. On the side of a shipwreck, these yellow bars are how you climb over the edges if you're above. Wow. No crate? Usually there's a crate on this on the roof of those things, but not in this case. Nothing? What the? What kind of a shipwreck is this? There's nothing on it. Are you serious? Okay, like that's the worst shipwreck I have ever seen. <coughs> There was absolutely nothing on this shipwreck. I, wow, I'm, I'm beside myself. I've never seen that before. This is a mineable resource in the water. That is clay. And clay is something you need to mine in order to make a clay water pot, for example. So I'm going to take one of these guys back to base and put him there with the other one. You can also build with clay. You can make foundations, walls, etc. All right, so we're getting towards sunset already. 428. We have two snakes, two boars. Our food and water are still pretty good. I have one more piece of meat from last night. I'll eat that. And yeah, even though we're poisoning, our health is much, much better than it was yesterday, or in the last episode. Alright, so do we have any more wrecks? I'm just going to go once around the island and see if I can find any wrecks. And what have we got? We've got a little
little shipwreck here. Doesn't look like it's got much, but we'll try it out. Wow, nothing. Alright, so this island is rich in plant life, but wow, it's not really doing much for me in the way of shipwrecks. There doesn't seem to be anything. And I don't know. Oh, and there's the crate over there. I did leave it on the beach. Alright. And again, I'm always grabbing those fibrous leaves if I can find them. Or if I see them. Alright, the potatoes. With the potatoes, we can either plant them in a farming plot, and a farming plot you'll find in your menu over, you click, keep clicking until you get to farming, you can see the farming plots. Now a wooden farming plot is your basic farming plot, it's four sticks and a lashing. A plank farming plot takes two planks, and a corrugated farming plot takes two corrugated scrap pieces. Now I have all of those, so I could build any one of those three right now. Now the difference between them is that a wood farm farming plot is quite small. It's your basic plot. It only holds a little bit of water, so you constantly have to be tending it and adding water, whereas the plank and the corrugated plots can hold a lot more water. I usually build my farming plots out of corrugated simply because they hold quite a lot of water and you don't have to uh, water them all that often. Um, they will collect rainwater. But it's getting dark, so I'm going to uh, sleep for the night, and I'll come back in the morning, and we'll do some stuff with the pigs here. Alright, so we slept, and it's 3.43 in the morning. Wow, we're not that, uh, we didn't get a lot of sleep there, but alright. those. Now we need a bit of food, so what I'm going to do is skin the snakes. Blah. And put those on there. Snakes produce one piece of small meat, just like a fish. Now, one kind of neat thing with with wild boars and sharks, is if you want to keep them around as a trophy, you can. And you can actually still harvest almost everything off of them without uh, using them up. So I'll show you for an example here. With a wild boar, if you skin it, you'll get a piece of hide. Oh, skin disgusting. it again, you'll get another piece of hide. So you can see from our boar, you can't tell just looking at him whether he's been skinned or not, because the, the image doesn't change. And you'll also get several pieces of medium meat. And you can see, once he's used up, he just disappears. But with what you can do is if you stop before harvesting that last Ugh. piece of meat, you can actually keep him there, and he'll stay there forever, and will look just like that. So you can basically harvest your two pieces of hide and one piece of meat, and now I can keep this guy and leave him lying around as a trophy if I wanted to. And yeah, you could end up with a pile of sharks and boars just lying there. Of course, it doesn't work with fish, or, or well, it works with cod, but it doesn't work with small fish because they only have one piece of meat, and snakes as well only have one piece of meat. So you can't do it with them. Oh, gross. Yeah, I know. All right, so we're going to attach our medium pieces of meat to the smoker, and we'll light that up. And we have about half. We might not quite have enough fuel to smoke the medium pieces, so I'm just going to add a little bit of fuel to the fire. And we want to make sure that our water still is fully stocked, so that it keeps on producing water. 
and we'll just let that go and it'll it'll cook the meat and then smoke the meat and then what we need to do because we now have four pieces of hide we can now try and and turn that hide into leather to do that you have to look at your crafting menu and go down to the tanning rack now it requires four sticks and four lashings it's quite a few lashings that's going to use up a lot of our fibrous leaves but you got to do what you got to do all right so i only have enough for two so that kind of sucks all right so we're going to need more fibrous leaves so we're going to have to pretty much wait for a few leaves to uh, grow back or we could run around and see if we missed any, which is always a possibility, though there's not going to be too many, because I think I've cleaned up most of them. There's one there. If we can find enough to get another two lashings, that would be great. And we'll just grab anything else we can find. Now there is a bit of a glitch in the game, if you can hear it in the background, you can, you can hear the fire and, and the water dripping, uh, no matter where you are on the island. So that's kind of something that I hope that they fix soon. It's a bit loud in the ear sometimes. Alright, so we can actually use all of those. We have sticks here. Uh, no, we don't want to loom. We want a tanning rack. All right, so we can place the tanning rack wherever. doesn't matter where you put it. So then what you do with a tanning rack is that you take the hides, and you don't even have to have them in your hand. You just have to use quick crafting, and it will take your hides and turn them into leather. And there we go, four pieces of leather. I'm just going to drop those here for now. Now, if we can find ourselves a shark, we can do that again and get get a uh, eat those two small pieces there. We can we can kill a shark. Oh no! <laughs> I just ate a raw one. Must have had one in my hand. Ah! All right. So yeah, you have to be careful because raw meat and cooked meat will stack on top of each other, so you don't always know what you're getting when you grab something. So that, I think, uh, dropped my water a little, so... <laughs> Whoopsie. Alright. So now we're back up to full health, other than we have poison. See, now this is interesting. Now, because I goofed up there, that might have dropped my, my heart there one more spot. Uh, but it sh really shouldn't go down any further if I keep my food and water up. But, eh, it's something we'll keep a track of. Now, what I might want to do... Because I do have a pippy plant right there, maybe I'll build myself a farming plot. So if I go to tools, we need a hoe. And a hoe takes a stone tool, a stick, and a lashing. So again, we need another lashing, which I don't have. All right. All right, now because my water still is half empty and I need to add more fiber, I'm just going to use palm fronds because I don't have any more fiber still. And what time is it? Eight something in the morning. We want to take our owl cell again. So again, we don't have to worry about... We have sunblock. Don't have to worry about getting sunstroke. So this meat is... Now, the medium meat is now cooked. So I can eat this now safely. Uh, I don't need it, but it, I can. And if I just let it continue to cook here, this will eventually turn into smoked meat. And let's see if we can find a shark. Now with a shark, you're going to need more spheres than just five. It takes ten crude spear hits to kill a shark. You need a stick, a stone tool, and a piece of leather. So let's say one, two, three, and I'll maybe save one for a refined axe. So let's go refine spear, refine spear, refine spear. And I'm going to leave this piece of leather here for when I do the refined axe. Now, refined spears are great. 
Um, you want to make sure when you're attacking a shark out in the water that you don't miss though, because your spear will just vanish off into the abyss if you miss what you're aiming at. On land, it works exactly the same way as a regular spear, but it does double the damage, so you can kill a snake with one hit of the spear, which is really, really nice. Because as you saw, when you attack a snake, it gets angry if you hit it with a crude spear. It just comes after you. So if you can hit it with the refined spear, you can kill it in one shot and you don't have to worry about that, which is great. And then the same thing with a boar, you have to chase those boars down. Um, these two glitched out in the ocean and, and didn't really put up too much of a fight, but often what happens with a boar is that you have to chase it all over the island trying to kill it, especially if you're using crude spears. And that, my friends, is how you kill a seagull. <laughs> I'm just going to come out here and see if I can lure a shark. Wow, where are the sharks? We're going to have to call it a quits there for the day and try again in the morning. And I don't know where the sharks are. They just don't want to seem to come out. Oh, look, it looks like some of our virus leaves have been respawning here. That was the one that scared me with the crab that bit me when I was poisoned and almost dying in episode 2. Oh, I just used up my my last durability on my refined knife. Alright. So, we'll come back over here. We're only down one. Drop these all right in front. Put them bum bum. I might have to uh, hook some of those seagulls or something. Alright, so I'm going to drop my supply of meat in a crate. We need a stone tool, which we can build over here. And we need a lashing, which we can build here. And we need a stick, which I have on me, so I should be able to build a hole now. Yes. So let's take the corrugated scrap, and then you can do your quick crafting for a farming plot. So I can just plunk that down right there. Now what I want to do is plant my pippy plants first, because I'm poisoned, so I'm going to plant that little guy. So now I can build my coconut flask. I can use the coconut flask to collect water. I can only collect one drink at a time. Uh, oh, and it already has water in it, so... So this takes a, it's a little bit time consuming when you don't have a better water flask than this. But we're just going to do this a few times and we're going to water our PB plant because we need that PB plant. We need to make a antidote again. Alright, so let's drop that there. I need a couple more of these. Keep our water supply going. And we should sleep for the night. And now it's dawn. Now I did see, and you can barely see it right there in the center of the screen where my dot is, right above my dot, there's some bubbles out there. And that indicates a wreck. So I'm suspecting that if there is a shark on this island, it's going to be right out there. So I'm going to just kind of try and peek in that direction and see if there's a sh... And look, there he is right there. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, so we have a shark. Now, sharks can't come into shallow water like this. So you have to find an area that drops off, and you can stay in the shallow area, and the shark will swim past you in the deeper area, and then you can just pick him off as he goes by. And here he comes again. You have to make sure you don't go too far in, though. Now, when you throw a spear, you have to lead the shark a little bit, and it will drop as well as you throw it. So you have to aim a little bit high and a little bit in front. But it's not much, so you have to... something you have to practice. Alright, so I've got him four times with my crude spear. It takes ten hits of a crude spear, or five hits of a refined spear in order to kill the shark. So 
we're going to, uh, this should be enough to kill him if I have three refined spears and four crude spears. If I hit him every time, we should be able to get him. As long as I don't miss. So don't jinx me. Come on. Swim right past me. There you go. Nice little guy. And yeah, your spear will go right through those small sharks, so it doesn't really matter. Come on, guy. One last time. Come to daddy. Oop, get some air. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I killed him. Oh, poor Sharky. <laughs> All right. Now, it makes no difference where you hit the shark with your spear. I've even had it, like, barely clipping the, the fin, and it still counts as a hit. So, so again, again, right-click, hold on to the shark, and swim to shore with him. You can see the texture of its skin. You can see its gills. You can actually even glitch yourself right inside his mouth if you want to. <laughs> oh, look, there he is. All right, so we're going to take him and put him up next to our farming plot. Pull him back a little. You can flip him on his side. You can pose him. Or you can pose with him. Let's see if I can get him up onto the plot here. Oh, I'm just messing him up. Hey, dude, don't you be messing with my pippy plants. I don't want you destroying those. Come on, put your head up there. There you go. Hey, don't eat the pippy plant. Hello. I'm a shark. All right. You're a dead shark. All right, so then again, the same thing with... with with what I did with the boar here is that you can skin the shark and you'll get hide. Now a shark being such a large creature you get three pieces oh, of hide. It's disgusting. Yeah, and we know it's disgusting. But you'll also get three pieces of large meat. So I'm going to do the same thing I did with the boar. I'm only going to harvest two pieces of meat, and then I'm going to leave him here as a trophy. Now this this may change later on. I might decide that I need the meat and whatnot, so... But for now, I'm going to do it this way. i put those two there, and we might as well skin our seagulls as well. Not oh, that they, gross. Not that they produce a lot of meat, but... I'm going to need the meat at some point. Alright, one and two. Let's light this up again. And I have three hides, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to quick craft some more leather. So we turned our three pieces of hide into leather. We now have four pieces of leather. If we come over here to the tanning rack, we can build a water skin. Now, the water skin is great because it will hold up to three drinks of water. Now, I don't have any water at the moment in the water still, Oop, and we're out of leaves, so we're going to fill that back up so we produce more water, of course. So, yeah, that was pretty much it. We have uh, killed ourselves a shark. We killed ourselves two boars. We got rid of the snakes on the island. We built a water skin. And a farming plot, and are trying to grow a pivy plant. Now, what I might do in the next episode, is, or maybe between episodes, I'm just going to go to another island and maybe try and find some pivy plants, and maybe uh, try and get a collection of fibrous leaves or palm fronds from another island. Uh, because it's always good to have extra palm fronds and extra fibrous leaves, because you will need them. Uh, the water still uses up quite a few, and you need extra water for the farming plots. And I might even build another farming plot or two and another water collector in order to supply the farming plots with water. So I might do that in the next episode or between episodes and we'll see how it goes. I hope you found that interesting and entertaining and useful. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.